This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom goodness, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and today we're going to have a little bit of fun with 3D. We're going to take this stock photo from Shutterstock and we're going to extrude this into 3D and create a school of fish from this flat image. So here's what we're going to do. I've already used the magic wand tool and the quick select tool to make a selection of the white area in the background and I've converted it into a layer mask as you can see here in the layers panel. If I hide this white layer you can see that indeed the fish are extracted with the layer mask but what I need to do is actually put them on their own layer. So I'm going to do that by loading this mask as a selection by control clicking on Windows or command clicking on Mac right on the layer mask. And notice the cursor changes to a dotted line outline indicating that I'm about to create a selection. I click that and we can see the marching ants and now with this layer selected I'm going to press Control J on Windows or Command J on a Mac and I'm going to create a new layer. So if I turn this layer off I can toggle the white background and sure enough we can see that we've extracted the fish completely onto a transparent background. So I'll turn that white layer back on so that we can work against that white background for now. What we'll do at this point is with this layer selected and we might want to rename that, we'll call it fishes just so that we know what it is. We'll go to the 3D menu and we'll choose new 3D extrusion from selected layer and when we do that we now have a 3D layer I can use the Move tool with the 3D mode set to 3D Rotate and move the scene around and we can see, sure enough, the fish images have been extruded. Now what we're going to want to do is to select in the 3D panel and make sure that you're working in the 3D workspace so that you have the 3D panel and the Properties panel visible. We're going to select the fishes, which is the mesh that represents the entire image here that's being extruded. With this mesh selected, we can adjust the extrusion depth here. So you can see we can make it shallower or deeper. And what we're going to do is simply change it to zero to make it completely flat. And now if we rotate it around, we can see sure enough, we've got no thickness whatsoever. But here's where it starts to get interesting. We'll move this around just a little bit. And once again, select the fish's mesh here in the 3D panel. At this point we'll go back to the Properties panel and we'll switch to the Cap section. When we click here we have a few options including the inflation. And what I'll do is I'll adjust the strength of the inflation and you can see the fish kind of blowing up. They get fatter. Now if we rotate this around you'll see that this is only happening on one side. So once again, we'll select the fishes, but this time in the cap section, we'll change this drop down from front to front and back. And now if we scroll down and adjust the strength, you'll see that the front and the back sides move equally. So now we've got more or less fish shaped 3D objects all in a grid here on this one 3D layer. What I'll do now is I'll make sure that current view is selected and I'm going to change my view back to the default view. This will move everything back around to the front so we can see what's going on. Now once again in the 3D panel I'm going to select the fish's mesh and what I'm going to do then is choose the 3D menu and I'm going to choose split extrusion. This will take our one large extrusion and create a bunch of individual extrusions from it. We get a warning and we can click right through that. And now we can click individually on any one of these fish and we can move in any direction and I'm simply dragging with the 3D axis tool here. We can also rotate these fish around. So we can use this technique to put the fish wherever we want. One behind the other, one in front of the other. 
and we can drag them around into different rotational positions. So this can be a lot of fun and you can play with this for a while and get these fish positioned exactly the way that you want them. While we're here, I'll point out that we also have a light. Here's the infinite light. And if we select it here in the 3D panel, we can grab the end of it here and drag it around and notice the effect here. So we could spend a lot of time repositioning these fish any way that we want to. And like any good chef, I've got a layer already prepared here in the oven. So let's open this up and we'll turn this on. And here is my layer. It's the same fish and I've already repositioned them in the orientation that I want them. So we can click out here in the scene and we can drag these fish around and you can see now that I've got them positioned in sort of a swimming school. So we can position these as we want and then on this layer we'll go back to the 3D panel and we'll choose the infinite light here. Now we might want this light to come from a different direction. So perhaps we want it to come, oh, let's say about like that. Now notice the shadows that are being cast here. The shadow is controlled here in the properties panel and we can change the softness to sort of smooth out that shadow a little bit and take away the hard edges. We can do that simply by adjusting this slider. So with our school of fish adjusted, we can go back to the layers panel and we'll go down here and enable a background. And I've got some ocean images in the background. We'll shut off this white layer and there we have it. We could go back to the 3D layer, of course, and simply move the scene around to make it look appropriate for the background. We'll go ahead and click away from this layer and once again, here we have it. A 3D school of fish created in Photoshop CC from a flat image using the 3D extrusion tools. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of photography, Photoshop, and Lightroom tips and tricks and related information there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001. And you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.